Staying safe, I hope. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not... Trouble? When Ulfric was killed, how I feel. I thought... Yes, markedly so. Ulfric and his Stormcloaks made no secret of their disdain for the Dark Elves. In fact, they didn't seem to care much for anyone who wasn't a Nord. The folk of the Empire have always had a more cosmopolitan view of the world. So I'm glad to see them in charge. Not a day goes by that I don't think about returning to the ancestral home of my people. Still, even with the rough treatment we've had at the hands of Ulfric and his lot, I've got ties here. It's probably more trouble to pack up and leave than it is to stay. Besides, Amberus can't run the corner club on his own. Windhelm is divided into four quarters. The Grey Quarter is the one that's home to all the city's Dark Elves. If it looks to you like an impoverished slum, that's because it is. Ulfric prefers that we live in squalor. He has nothing but disdain for anyone who isn't a Nord. He tolerates us, but that's the extent of his hospitality. It was a pleasure. Horses. All day long. Do you have what any do you need? Idea how dull I was trying to get to Morrowind. The Dunmer don't care much for the Thalmor, and I figured I'd be safe there. As safe as anywhere, that is. But there's a Khajiit hanging around the main gate. I didn't like the way he was looking at me. I'm sure he's Thalmor, just waiting for me to leave so he can follow me and kill me in a lonely place. You'd be saving my life, again. I know I probably seemed ungrateful. I've just been so scared. Expecting a knife at my throat any minute. Need some? I was trying to get to Morrowind. The Dunmer don't care much for the Thalmor, and I figured I'd be safe there. As well, safe as anywhere, you see that where is. we have to live. This forgotten alley. All the filth from the upper quarters flows downhill. What they say. Good luck getting one of the guards to help with anything. I tried to get Ulfric to even come down here to see the squalor, but the High Lord of His Mightiness couldn't find the time. Where else would we be? When the Red Mountain burned, you could scarcely breathe in Morrowind, so we came west. Windhelm was the first city on that road, and here we are. If we had known the Nords would be so unwelcoming, we may have kept walking. None of that matters to me. Until someone takes a Dunmer, I'll let Windhelm deal with its own problems. Take a look.
If All you right, need another then. drink, I'll be right here. I thought the Grey Quarter would be a haven for my kind. I was wrong. Move on, friend. I have nothing to sell today. Move on, friend. I have nothing to sell today. Move on, friend. I have nothing to sell today. Move on, friend. I have nothing to sell to you. Move on, friend. I have nothing to sell today. Never should have come here.
Spare a coin for an old woman, my lord. Good to have you by my side, friend. The townsfolk call me captain because I used to be a sailor. To receive the blessing, I don't care what the Imperials say. When Ulfric Stormcloak died, one of Skyrim's greatest heroes was lost. Now at last, the Thalmor will get their way. The worship of Talos will finally be stamped out. Or so they think. Those true sons and daughters of Skyrim will never cease to worship mighty Talos. If we cannot do so in our temples, we will do so in our hearts. Oblivion, take the Thalmor. I'll never give up Talos, not even if it means my life. Let them come and make me a martyr. Like anyone, a crisis will push them towards devotion. I've been seeing a lot of the Shatter Shields since they lost their daughter. Helevi Krulsi comes in a lot, but I haven't seen her husband here in years. Ulfric prays for strength. I speak to Captain Lonely Gale, but he doesn't spend much time here. Too busy. Talos, who in life was known as Tiber Septim, united Tamriel and founded the Empire. He was rewarded for his deeds by being joined with the Divines in eternal glory. The only mortal to do so. We worship him that we might follow in his path. We can't literally join him in the heavens, but we may do our best to know them here on Nern. The Empire's elven puppet masters never cared much for the idea of a human becoming a divine. So the worship of Talos is outlawed. Skyrim doesn't take kindly to being told what to do. And to try and forget Talos, well, they may as well ordered us all to cut off our ears. Blessings of Arcae be upon you. <laughs> 